Yeah, you know, the start is pretty good because at least we have downhill from the beginning, and then a fairly long standard marathon around and back to the same place. But the profile is good. We go up and come down. Stage one will be fine. Again, a nice profile. Just really high altitude halfway through. That's going to be tricky. This is a big one. Ultra on, all on its own, 56 kilometers, and very up, down, up, down. I think that's going to be quite tough. This is the biggie, 80 kilometers. This is going to be torture. Continuously up and down for 80 kilometers and a very, very, very steep descent at the end. It's basically going over the Rockies and down to Aspen. It's crossing the pass. And then a nice final, final hop and a skip at the end. It's, it's going to be easy even if we have to walk it. I'm going to walk the end. <laughs> Our legs will be dead by then. Stop. Don't move quickly. Just continue on slowly. Just stop running, okay? Common symptoms of elevation, what we call acute mountain sickness. Nausea, headache, fatigue, Sweaty palms, just generalized malaise. Frankly, if you're not having those symptoms in an ultra, you know, multi-stage ultra marathon, then I'm, blows my mind. it's like half a running race half a, a logistical race as far as planning out the proper gear for weight for calorie ratio for how much you're gonna need per day um, I went into it not really knowing that I would probably need more than 2,000 calories a day and unfortunately I packed about 1500 a day which um, I'm struggling now because of that and you know one of the guys was nice enough to give me a breakfast this morning and that's gonna essentially what's going to get me through this thing and yeah uh it's it's a much tougher race i'd say than doing just 100 miles non-stop there you go thank you uh -huh. thank you so much yeah sure okay. oh, turn oh, 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 oh. left turn left 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 left, left, left up left. the trail yep. 1.3 miles up and then you're down 11 kilometers to the next checkpoint As when you go up through Paradise Divided, it's a pretty steep climb. Your footing is decent. When you get to the very, very top of Paradise Divide, that is not the checkpoint. It's down a little bit at the top of Schofield. There'll be a checkpoint there, checkpoint three, and then you'll start your descent. Are you guys gonna come to a thing that's called uh, the Devil's Punch Bowl, and there's a big waterfall that comes in, and then the road narrows. We cannot get a vehicle through there, a full-size vehicle. So that's a checkpoint for us that Medically, if you're not in shape, we can't send you through. So we'll have the UTV shoot through if we need to, but all the rest of the vehicles have got to go through, back around, and it's a two and a half hour drive from town. So you guys have to be through checkpoint three, everyone at the top of Schofield by one o'clock, or we got to show you to the finish. So if you enjoy running the trails, that kind of thing, and you enjoy single track running, this race is really for you. And especially if you're into the kind of social aspect of running and you like running with kindred spirits. You get to camp every night after your stage with all your runners and you get to swap stories. It's a really cool, adventurous kind of, almost like a frontier mentality to the, the camp every night. It's a really cool race. This is a running race for people with a sense of adventure that have got the mental attitude to get through it. If you're gonna come here and just try and run a race as you would a, a standard marathon or a standard ultra marathon, 
you're going to struggle with this race. You need to have that adventurous feel to your to your kind of psyche. The guys this year had to deal with uh, snow, rain, hail. You know, in the mountains, the weather can change from hour to hour, and the guys have to carry gear to cope with each change. So in one minute it could be 85 degrees Fahrenheit, the next next it could be 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So you have to carry clothes and gear to accommodate for that. So yeah, we created what we think is probably one of the toughest races in the world. It's certainly the toughest race in our series. Crossing the Rocky Mountains, the altitude, everything we've got here just comes together and creates a really adventurous, tough running race. Yeah.